Last Sunday, Labor Day marches and rallies were held in several regions across Guyana. In Georgetown, for the first time in about 25 years, the country's two trade union bodies, the Guyana Trades Union Congress and the Federation of Independent Trade Unions of Guyana, marched together under the theme, Unity of the Working Class, Essential and Necessary. In New Amsterdam, a march and rally was also held. Vanita Parmanan reports. Those were workers from the various unions in Region 6 marching towards a rally held at State House in New Amsterdam. On Sunday last, a rally was held at State House under the theme Unity of the Working Class, Essential and Necessary. Representatives from various unions also gave speeches at this rally. One of the speakers at the rally, Mr. Eli Hazel of the Guyana Postal and Telecommunications Workers Union, said, What we are going through today is problems because of money. We are all working and we are saying that the money it is not enough. Right. It is so because we have people that works as the foundation of this country. Take for instance, we, we have having teachers, we have having nurses, we have having policemen who is responsible for, for our safety. It is not going too good for us. But all that we gotta hope that things will change. He also said that. Now we are talking about May Day anniversary. If we realize the good things happening in Georgetown, isn't that so? Georgetown is not Guyana. Guyana is Guyana. And whatever happening to us today in Barbies is true. Our leaders, some of the persons who have been selected to lead Barbies. The 26th of May 1966, Guyana became independence. And we must stand up that whatever happening in Georgetown must happen here. If we cannot, if it cannot happen here, why not provide transportation if you care for us? You would so much care for us, the Barbicians. Come on, Barbicians, stop walking on your hands. A similar march and rally was held by the Guyana Agriculture and General Workers Union in East Kanji. Lenny Parmanan reporting for Channel 8 News.